thought I'd show you this after just getting it and setting it up. Um, been interested in these Zoo guitars of late, and this one caught my eye. You'd be forgiven for thinking that it's all entirely rosewood. It isn't. You can see there uh, the, the black uh, between the two veneers. It is veneered back and top, but the body is basswood, which is a very normative and resonant wood for electric guitars. Of course, it's the telly with the ash tray style bridge and the normal telly set up with the two single coils of lipstick and the neck pickup. Ebony fretboard. Um, it says rosewood on the specs, but it's either really dark rosewood. It looks like ebony to me. Uh, a nice profile neck. Here's the neck join here. I'm not going to play it on this video. I just got it out and I just wanted to show it to you. First look at kind of Clouson style tuners. Very slinky headstock on this. Um, I think they put a bone nut on it too. It's got some heft to it, some weight, but I really like the aesthetics of this. I really like this rosewood, if you can catch the right light here. This rosewood finish, this veneer finish, uh, the black pick guard. I love tellies with a black pick guard. I don't know why. Um, whenever I get a telly with a white pick guard, I just want to change it. <laughs> uh, but there you go. It has the black pick guard, all chrome, really nice neck beautiful fretboard I had to do minimal fret end stuff to it and the, with these Zue guitars uh, you can see them quite a bit on, on uh, eBay of course but also on Amazon if you keep an eye on Amazon um, there are probably two or three models available right now not this one this one seems to have sold out and um, there are Quite a few acoustic guitar models as well, but those are a lot more expensive. They're wanting three, four, five hundred for their acoustics, and being that you can buy a Seagull for that, I don't know. Um, we're gonna have a hard time getting that much for a guitar directly imported from China with a little-known name until they build a reputation. So I've just stuck to this is my second electric. I just like the look of this. I got it on a buy it now offer. So I got a little price reduction on it. I wanted to try it out. And uh, first impressions uh, are really good. The neck and, and the neck pocket looks good. It's nice and tight. Has the traditional four, four bolt or four screw neck mount string through design, which I like. Um, you know, the top loaded tellies can be a bit of a pain. It does have the three the three saddles, so that more of the traditional set up some people might switch that out for the six saddle um, upgrade uh, the the, the uh, tone and volume feel very uh, solid as does the three-way switch uh, I did have a quick plug-in in the in the garage with my little you know four watt amp and it, it sounds really good I had to lower the action quite a bit it was way too high but that's not a problem there was plenty plenty of room in the uh, the saddles to go down um, but it is a really pretty guitar uh, I really like the design of this and it has a satin neck and a satin finish so it's really slick to play the fretboard is really smooth um, slick and the frets are a lot better than the last zoo way I got remember the uh, the blue hollow body one the aqua blue one uh, those frets were needed a bit of polishing. These are a lot nicer. And the thing about these Zooways is, uh, what I what I wanted to get is this exact guitar with the Bigsby on it, which I see once in a while. But two things about them: uh, sometimes the they have them with a blank headstock, so it doesn't say Zooway on them. And the one with the Bigsby I see is being sold on eBay, uh, but without the brand name on it. I'm not sure what the deal is there, but it's exactly the same guitar as this. It just has a Bigsby mount right here, or a Chigsby, I should say. Um, the other thing uh, about them is 
There are three sellers on eBay that sell these Zuway guitars, or three that I found. There's probably more. And about half of their listings are in the U.S., so they do have some U.S. warehouse presence. And they, ship, they can ship those from a U.S. warehouse. And then the other half of their list, listings, you have to wait for them to ship from China. So when I look at their guitars, what I'm doing more and more now with a lot of sellers on eBay, and I don't buy there much anymore, um, is you can go into the uh, sidebar and you can click item location US only if you don't want to deal with, with shipping from China and waiting God knows how many weeks or months. I've stopped um, buying from companies shipping direct from China during COVID because I've had a couple of problems and I just don't want to deal with it. So this one uh, was sold um, by somebody uh, and this was a U.S. listing, and it was shipped from California. Uh, so I only had to wait two or three days for it. But um, first impressions are really good. The thing is with me, I buy tellies. I think I'm going to keep them. And then they end up selling them. There's just always something slightly lacking in some of these tele copies. Uh, the, um, the Paisley Harley Benton that I had, I finally moved on. The uh, 52 Tele copy I got from Harley Benton, I finally moved on. All the Cozarts I got, I moved on. I didn't keep those at all. Um, I've had uh, Essex, Douglas. Uh, I've had, you know, various um, budget Tellys uh, over the years, some of which I've made videos about on this channel. And there's always just something about them where I just eventually, maybe it takes a month or two, just go, ah, I'm just going to move this on. It's not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, so I don't know if this will meet the same fate. Right now, I really like it. The neck feels really good. It feels really slick. Um, the pickups on this uh, seem really decent as well. And I would say it's it competes with the quality of the IYV guitars. Uh, and by the way, I moved on those tallies as well. Because they weren't traditional tallies, they were tallies with um, humbuckers and P90s. Uh, so I eventually moved those on. I don't know if this will meet the same fate. I'll play it for a couple of weeks and see what I decide. But so far, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pleased with it, and I really like the look of some of these Zuway guitars. So I thought to do a, you know, sort of a first look at a video, and then maybe play it on a, a video to come. Uh, down the line. So instead of unboxing, I'm doing these first look at views. I don't like sitting and watching a video while somebody opens a box. I don't know why. I always fast forward through that. It annoys me. So I don't do it to other people. However, I will say that my first impressions of this guitar uh, are really, really good. Uh, I like the feel of it. I like the size of the neck. It's it's narrow. Um, you know, it's a it's a narrow C neck, but it's not overly skimpy, um, and it it feels really slick. The frets feel really nice, and the fretboard, I swear, is it, it looks just like ebony to me, even though their uh, specs on the website say uh, rosewood. It could be just a really dark piece of rosewood, but it looks and feels. And I have an ebony fretboard on my Yamaha, so I know what they feel like. Uh, it feels like it. The tuners, it took a long time to start keeping tuned, but that's normal with these Chinese strings. Um, I think the tuners will be fine. I've still got to do a little bit more setup on it uh, to get it where I want it, but I wanted to show it to you because uh, it seems like there's a bit of interest in these Zuway guitars. Let me show you the headstock again. Uh, and people have asked me, you know, when I'm going to upload another one, so I thought I'd do a, a quick intro on this. But there it is. I don't, there's no model number to this. Um, it just It's just a Zue T-style guitar, rosewood veneer. Uh, and there are various different, there are different variations of it. Um, there's this one, there's the one with humbuckers, and there's the one with um, uh, sort of those guild, uh, uh, what do they call them, the foil pickups with the imitation Bixby on it. So I've seen about three different versions of this guitar with this finish, or with this veneer, and with the black pick guard. And they all look really nice. So um, if you're interested in another area to find 
uh, you know, sort of budget brand guitars that can be modded and play really well. You might want to look into Zooey. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye open for one or two more. Uh, they have a, a couple of nice um, tellies with um, Floyd Rose options, uh, which you don't see every day. So I might check out one of those at some point as well. But there you go. The Zooey uh, Rosewood finished telly style guitar. See you next time.